My name is Court Brunowski. I'm from uh, Greenwich. I've been working on Common Core for a while. I have a basic question, but I need to respond to what you said. Uh, from what I've seen in terms of how the boards have reacted when people have presented information to them, I have to disagree. Okay. I implore everyone here to become a leader, become your own activist, engage others, talk to everybody, make your own flyer, go to the next step, get more people involved. It is the only way this is going to work. And I'm sorry, you will have to get in their faces. Yeah. You will have to be antagonistic, aggressive. You will not let them sleep. That is the only way it's going to work. They will not be reasonable. Look at what happened in the March 12th hearings in Hartford. We were reasonable. And what did we get as a response? Evasion, disinformation, lying by equivocation, everything but a rational response to our rational appeal. So I just had to say yeah. that, but no, okay. No, no. Right. Thank you. And I, and I should follow up by saying that at the last Board of Ed meeting, um, where we were discussing a closure of a school, and it was due in, um, in part for financial reasons, and I raised the question, if we didn't have to pay for Common Core, would we have money to keep this school open? And I was immediately interrupted, told that what I was saying was irrelevant, and I was to sit down. Okay, so I am naively saying that we should be in, in, an, in a movement of cooperation, but what I personally have encountered is exactly what you just spoke to, and that it, it is going to take each and every one of us to become an activist yeah. and to stand up and to speak. The bottom line, I mean, the model I have in my mind is for each town, you're going to need a bare minimum of 15 or 20 angry parents, mothers for Pell come first, to get out there, basically in the street, in front of the Board of Education, get Chris there, get somebody with a video camera, call up the news station, harass the, uh, the newspaper, let them know what's happening, and you're there, you're waving the signs, you're making your speeches. It's the only way they're going to even begin to move. But anyway, my question quickly is, do not the terms and conditions of Common Core inherently violate the principle of local control, therefore making it inherently illegal. Of course, yes. Yeah. Okay, so then on those grounds, and since, it, I mean, this is the other part that gets me. Here you have these boards of education defending Common Core. Common Core violates their self-interest, yeah, yeah. and they're defending it. Oh and my God. Again, because they, I don't think they understand. That's it, okay.